everyone, welcome back. I thought I would bring you an update on all of our animals around the farm. So we had a surprise the other night on Saturday. Our black lab Lucky had puppies. We thought she originally was just gaining a bunch of extra weight and then it became pretty evident about two weeks ago that she was expecting puppies. And so she surprised us on Saturday by giving birth. And you might notice they're a little loud. They're so tiny. But um, she ended up birthing 15 puppies. Unfortunately, um, one was a little too big and got stuck in the birth canal. So she ended up with four of them that were still born and then one got laid on. So we only have 10 puppies that survived, but I feel like we are really blessed with 10 little lab puppies. They are so precious. And she is just the best mama. So she actually had an appointment to get fixed this month. So we might have to push that back a little bit until these puppies are weaned. I'm not really sure. We'll call the vet and talk to him about it, but um, I thought we were really blessed to have some new baby labs. So we will be giving those away. We won't, we don't plan on keeping them. We might keep one. We kept one from our last litter, but um, other than that, we like to give them to friends and a lot of people that we work with. So they really appreciate the labs. They take great care of them. So that's our plan. We will be getting rid of them, but we were really blessed to have them. So I thought I would share those with you. Mama is still very exhausted, but she's doing great. She's been getting up to use the bathroom and to eat. She just is really tired because it's a lot of work being a new mom to 10 babies. Hi guys. Um, today these babies are so cute. And um, I, I pet them every single day, but I don't know when they're gonna grow. I have a new microphone I'm trying out. Hopefully it works. It's supposed to drown out any of the wind and we have a lot of wind here, you know, so hopefully we will get to see if it actually drowns it out today. Next up, I wanted to share with you all of our chickens. So we have lots of chickens at different ages right now. Back here, we have our meat birds. We have 20 meat birds. They soon will be going in our freezer because they're almost six weeks old and they should be ready between six and eight weeks. We haven't weighed them yet to see how much they weigh but they are getting pretty big. So here you can see them really well. Like I said, they're getting pretty big. I can't believe they're only six weeks old and they are this big. We do have some other chickens that are egg layers that are also the same age. So you'll get to see the comparison in size. These are our chickens that are the exact same age as the meat birds. These chickens are ones we hatched ourselves. One is a bonus chicken we got from McMurray Hatchery. But uh, you will see how much smaller these birds are than those meat birds. So here they are. These birds are the exact same age as those meat birds. And they're maybe a third of the size, I want to say. You can see a couple of them are the fuzzy heads that we hatched. Um, I think it must be that one that came from McMurray. Not quite sure. It really blended in with the others. And these chickens are the first chickens that we hatched out of an incubator right here on our farm. Um, they're doing great. They're huge. They are ready to go in with all of our regular egg layers. They aren't full grown yet, but they're getting there. They will be there soon. They were born the first weekend of April. That makes them two months old. They're getting nice and big. You can't see them really good. I do believe only one is a rooster. And the others are all hens. Yeah. And over here we have our newest batch of chickens that we incubated and hatched ourselves out of nine eggs. Eight of them hatched. That was amazing. That's the most we've had yet, but they're getting nice and big. I think they're two weeks old now. They might be two and a half weeks. So yeah, they're getting nice and big. I'm hoping most of them are egg layers. If they're roosters, we'll probably put them in the freezer. And there's a fuzzy head. Oh, and that one looks like it has a little fuzz on top. You just never know. With our um, fuzzy head chickens mixed in with the others, they seem to mix. That one has a little bit of fuzz on top too. You just never know what you're gonna get when you incubate your own eggs. I think, I think Thelma wants me to show you her. She's doing great. She, the poor cat, has had her leg ripped open twice by one of our other cats, but it is all healed up and she's doing wonderful. I think she misses being in the house though. She is a house cat. 
<laughs> she's not our house cat. She's definitely an outdoor cat for us, but she was someone's indoor cat. You can tell she just wants to go in the house all the time. But um, she's been living on our porch or our deck, and I think she does fine there. It's okay that she's not a house cat anymore. She really puts off way too much for her to be in our house. I think I've told you before that we have two children who are allergic to cats. They're allergic to cats and dogs, I should say. They're allergic to pet dander and their allergies just go crazy when they're around the cat. So um, she just couldn't be in the house here. It wouldn't work out for us. And if we thought she was doing bad outside, we would give her to someone else, but she seems to do fine. She likes to come in the garage a lot and we let her in there, but she survives fine outside. So she's also my favorite cat. <laughs> so I don't want to get rid of her. If I thought it was not good for her to be an outside cat since she is used to being indoors, I would give her to someone else. But as you can tell, she's not suffering at all. <laughs> We do have 10 ducks. I will stick a clip of them in here. I can't get close to them. Shane goes up to them and he can feed them by hand. They love him. They are his ducks after all. Um, we started out with 12 and when we put them on the pond, unfortunately we did lose two, but the other 10 have been doing great. And so they stay on our pond all the time. We have them a nice little place out there, a nice little duck house out there. And so, like I said, I'll stick a clip of them in so you can see them. Every evening, if Shane hasn't fed the ducks by seven o'clock, they come running up looking for him to feed them. It's the cutest thing ever. Next up are our two Cooney Cooney pigs. We've not found a female yet. We are still looking for a female to be able to breed them. But as you can tell, these two are doing great. They're getting so big and it's really great that they eat, they eat a lot of grass, but they also eat a lot of our scraps. Scraps that could go to the chickens also, I guess. Not all of them, but they, they love pineapple. They love watermelon, um, peppers. We give them the, the core of the pepper when we cut a pepper up and they eat it all. And it is just so adorable to see them eat it. And they love to play in their swimming pool. We will have to move them when it starts to get hotter outside. We'll have to move them somewhere where it's more shady because they can't handle the heat, but they're doing okay right now with their little house and their pool. They are just the cutest things ever. Now, if you get in with them, they will nibble on your shoes or your feet, but they haven't hurt anybody yet. They just kind of nibble like they think you've brought them a treat because we do bring them out treats all the time. And so I will share them eating pineapple and watermelon and playing in their pool. update on our cat or our cute little kittens. I do believe I shared when they were born. Um, I can't remember how old they are now, maybe a month old or so. Uh, she had five kittens. Unfortunately, we lost one. I think it was due to the heat. So this is a little room we have in our barn that we built a while ago. It's really well insulated, so it stays nice and cool in here. So we, after we lost that kitten, we moved them all in here. And they've been doing great since, as you can tell. They are just the sweetest little things. This is the mama kitty, Sammy. She's a great cat. You can tell she has this little swirl on her side. And a couple of her babies have that too, but oops. Yeah. Watch out, Sammy. But oh my goodness, they are just the cutest little things, aren't they? They're just sitting here so good. I have unfortunately noticed in the last week that we've lost a couple of our older cats. I actually think we've lost three probably in the last month, so I guess these guys will just replace them. So these, they'll definitely stay here. Be barn cats like their mom and their dad. Their dad is Aussie. That's where these guys get their color from. And then the one over there, we have one little one that ran and hid. And it looks like it's mama. I don't know if you can see it. It's hiding. Must be a little more shy than the others. But these guys are just adorable, aren't they? The cutest. Zandria loves playing with them, so they might be a little more friendly than some of our other cats.
Their mama, Sammy, though, she is super friendly. So she was born here on our farm also. Her mom is Jill, and Jill's one of them that's went missing recently. So she, I guess, will replace her. But anyway, we love our farm animals. Um, I haven't shared with you our other dogs, but they're all doing great. They're all outside enjoying the nice, cool weather today. I just wanted to bring you a nice little update on all of our pets. We've had so many new ones recently. Um, all from our farm. We haven't actually picked up any new from anyone else. We just have a lot of babies going on, hatching chickens, birthing kittens, and puppies. And so that's an update on our pets. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in a few days for another garden update because our garden has been growing like crazy. We've got, we've had a lot of rain lately and a lot of sunshine and it's doing great things for the garden. I am hoping we will have some broccoli real soon. We haven't had broccoli before last year it bolted I think I just planted it too late and it got really hot last year so hopefully we'll get broccoli this year so stay tuned for a garden update here really soon Junkers here is looking for a new home he's a really good puppy if anybody wants one yeah what are you maybe three weeks old I mean excuse me he might be three months old I think but he's looking for a new home if anybody's interested he's a great dog I hope you enjoyed this short little update on our animals and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.